All right, so we've come a long way. We learned how to create pipelines, how templating works, how to push your code, and we integrated with um, Azure Key Vault as well. As we progress further in our next module, which is third module, wherein we are going to kickstart by learning one of the um, triggers. That trigger actually helps you to trigger your pipeline whenever something has happened. So just imagine your data, we've talked about data that you want to move your data from one source to another destination and all of that should happen through some sort of pipeline, right? And that's what we created. Now, how would that data would arrive? You don't want to trigger these pipeline manually, right? There has to be some sort of automation. There's some sort of uh, trigger automation, uh, which uh, whenever, let's suppose whenever a file, new file arrives in one of the blob storage, a rather container your pipeline should be triggered so for the for example we have got two containers and we want to make sure that whenever our customers data uh, lands into this particular container source container which is um, uh, empty at the moment uh, our pipeline should be triggered automatically and move those files uh, to this particular destination container so what we're going to do is we have already got the basic move uh, files uh, pipeline as the name suggests move files what we're going to do is we're going to click on add trigger and if you notice there are two options trigger now or new once we click on the new it lets you to create a new trigger uh, give it a trigger name um, storage trigger and what I'm going to do is uh, if you click on the type there should be four different type of schedule uh, which is a uh, tumbling window schedule storage events custom event which is still in preview so since it's an Azure um, uh, uh, Native services what we're gonna do is we're gonna select storage account and what we are trying to do is whenever one of our um, One of the files or one of the data kind of lands into these containers our pipeline should be triggered automatically So I'm gonna select the subscription. It's gonna be a one-time activity Select the storage account at the moment. It's only available for storage account uh, and I'm gonna give my uh, container name which is going to be source code source container come back over here and then um, you can also mention that only files with specific uh, uh, file type or begins with certain name like if it's coming as a raw data uh, or coming from some sort of logging services or devices you and you understand the pattern so you could just define the pattern over here as well for now we're gonna just uh, push everything and anything um, and event so when do you want this trigger to be uh, pipeline to be triggered when the blob is created or a blob is deleted so i'm going to select both of them at the moment um, and it says ignore empty blob um, which which i'm going to keep it as it is and i'm going to click on continue and this is going to detect if there are any matching containers blobs in the containers um, in the source code location and directory, I am going to put the container name and that's going to be destination container. Uh, just copy it right from here, paste it over here and directory is going to be star for the source and destination. I'm going to hit OK and it's going to publish this and this is going to create a trigger for us as soon as I click on the trigger it is publishing all the changes I'm not using the um, get connection at the moment all I'm doing is saving it on the data factory runtime so it in the back end it stores in its own data store and still trying to create the public uh, trying to publish the trigger once it's been done what we could do is we could just close the panel go to the monitor section and click on the trigger runs uh, at the moment we haven't got any uh, trigger runs um, uh, but we create did create one trigger so what I'm gonna do is in my source container I'm gonna upload bunch of files and I'm going to upload all of them and as soon as I upload them uh, we should have some trigger 
coming up right over here all right so if you notice we have already got one trigger and if you click on the pipeline the pipeline should also have uh, the pipeline running which we have is the move file pipeline which has been in progress this is going to take a few few seconds and gonna copy all files from one source to the destination container all right so our trigger was successfully finished if we go back to our source uh, code df containers uh, in the source we shouldn't have anything as it's not there and if you go to the destination container we should have all these six different um, files so this was um, this was how you could just configure your trigger pipeline um, once you have your you want to make sure that whenever some new files or folder has been created in your storage account your pipeline should be triggered automatically on Azure Data Factory and that's the whole purpose right you want to make sure that whole pipeline the whole orchestration activities are automated and uh, there are no manual intervention because there's no point clicking through the GUI every time you want to trigger a pipeline because uh, in the data pipeline scenario you want to make sure that everything is being triggered based whether where it's a data arrival process or data ingestion process all right i hope this was informative thank you